Hello, and welcome to my review on the Live 300 TWS. Sorry, that's JBL Live 300 TWS. And before we begin, please do stick around to the end, and uh, if you're having a tough time making your mind up about the Live 300 TWS, please just watch my video and nobody else's, because it'll just help you make up your mind so much easier. And I'm not saying that to, like, step on other people, but if you're having trouble making up your mind on about if you if you want to buy these or not, watch my video, and my video only, and see what I have to say about them as a consumer. I bought these with my money, so there is no, um, no, uh, there's like no me loving them because they're a certain brand or they sent them to me for free. I bought them out of my pocket. So don't worry about it. And again, if you're having a hard time making up your mind, just watch this video and what I have to say about them, and if you don't like what I have to say, or if you love what I have to say, just listen to me, okay? That's that's all I have to say. I'm, I'm not trying to sound like I'm stepping on other people, don't watch them. Like, go watch them if you want, but if you're really having a hard time, just watch this video. Anyways, these are the Live 300 TWS. They're very pretty earbuds. They're uh, 220 Canadian dollars, um, and they're IPX... They're IPX something resistant. They're sweat and water resistant, at least. Uh, they have hands-free calls. They have instant access to voice assistance by probably a button control or a um, just saying "Hey Google" or "Hey Siri" or "Alexa." They have ambient aware and talk-through technology that you can uh, access through the app um, and code all your buttons, etc. Um, they have uh, Bluetooth 5.0. They have 14 hours of battery in the case and six hours of battery in the buds themselves. I've already tested out the battery. You're not going to run out of battery. Don't worry about it. Uh, they're completely true wireless and they uh, are the flagship model JBL has released so far in the uh, truly wireless earbuds game. Um, people do praise these for their sound quality and compare them to the Sennheiser true wireless momentum or whatever the hell they're called. So yeah, that's that. So there's... Um, there's four um, wingtips that come with it. So the wingtips are these right here, little tips here. The wingtips, they have come with four different sizes, super small, small, medium, and large. Um, you can tell which ones they are on the inside of the wingtip. It will say L1, L2, L3, or L4. So L1 is small, L4 is big, and then right, the same thing, R1, R2, R3, R4, like that. Uh, 10 minutes of charge equals one hour of um, music playback. Uh, there is a cancer and reproductive harm uh, warning label on the back, but that seems to be on the back of all JBL, pro JBL products. Sorry, um, I do like JBL products, and that's only for it says here P65 warning that California. Gov. So that's just a California warning, you know, California is very sensitive to that stuff. Um, hi Californians, I'm sorry for saying that, but uh, you're, you, you always seem to be over the packaging of dangerous things, maybe, or not undangerous things. Um, so, we'll go over what I think about the buds now. We'll go first over the fit. The fit is good, but it's not stunning. The fit is, like... It's pretty good. It's it's very comfy. It's not necessarily the most comfy because these parts right here are very smooth plastic, but they don't feel like this plastic. They don't feel very finished. It feels uncomfortable there, but as long as you have the right tips and sizes, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, the fit is, again, okay in my respect because my uh, left or right earbuds or like your ear, earbuds ears have different size ear canals etc etc that didn't seem to be a problem they're they're a decent fit um so don't worry about the fit if you have regular ears <laughs> um or if you have large ears the if you have misshapen ears, maybe worry about the fit. Uh, if you have misshapen ears, I recommend going for an over-ear headphone, such as the, uh, I have a Turtle Beach headset, but just, you know, an over-ear headphone. They might be tougher to carry around, but oh well. It's probably the best for you. Um, the JBL two, throughout Live 300 TWS uh, are very sleek looking. They have a nice case, very snappy, very high quality. Everything is very well built. The 
build quality for me is a 5 out of 5. They have a USB-C with a little LED ring around it, and they, it will literally blink white for fucking ever as long as the ch this case has charge. It's got USB-C, which is nice to see, because this here has micro USB, and that kind of sucks, but USB is, uh, USB-C is not nice to see on a premium pair of wireless earbuds. But, I don't care. Most people probably won't. Um, I don't care necessarily that it's not USB-C, but most reviewers on YouTube seem to care, um, which is a little bit strange. Uh, I don't really care. I have lots of micro USBs around my house and USB-Cs, so it doesn't hurt me. Uh, these have Bluetooth version 5.0, and the thing that makes me want to... These are the Motorola Verbuds 110, if you wanted to check out the review, that'll be up there in the info card or whatever. Or down in the description if you want to go check. Um, but these are $220 and they have delay, so if you don't like that, I don't recommend them. So, um, let's get on to the sound quality. The mids, highs, and bass. So, here we go. The sound quality, on a scale of bad to stunning, we're gonna go bad, okay, I just whistled, did you hear that? I'm gonna go bad, okay, good, great, amazing, stunning. So, on a sound quality level, people compare these to the Sennheiser True Wireless Momentums. I, on the other hand, compare them to nothing. They're not stunning, they're not amazing, they're not good, they're not okay, they're not bad. That means I think they're great. Um, the great sound quality in these, they have great bass, the bass is there and it's very uh, noticeable. Uh, if you listen to EDM dubstep, you'll notice that more. Um, the mids are there, they're very crisp, clean, everything is very nice and clean. The separation between all the um, mids and highs are very nice. It's, very, it's a very nice sound to hear. But they're not very immersive in your listening experience. For $220, I don't think they're necessarily there. Um, the listening experience is good, but it's just, it's not very immersive. If you're going to get earbuds over $280, maybe go with the Buzz Live. They feel a little bit more immersive with their sound cancellation. These have good sound isolation, but they're not, it doesn't feel very immersive. The sound doesn't feel very immersive, you don't feel like you're being played, you're not being played at a concert, you don't feel like you're at the club, you don't feel like you're wearing over your headphones, you just feel like you're wearing earbuds. That kind of sucks. Um, with the Galaxy Buds Live, I found that they found, it felt like you were in a spot where you weren't listening to any of that stuff, but you weren't listening to earbuds necessarily either. And that kind of sucks with these, is that they just feel like earbuds and you're listening to earbuds like that, and that kind of sucks. But the sound quality is still good. Um, great, actually. <laughs> so, let's see. If there's anything else, I, uh, I should go over. Battery life is fine, don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, the ambient wear talk to technology. I didn't use it. I don't want to use it. It's not like I'm going to be talking to somebody with these on anyway. You can just take it out. Unless you're wanting to listen to music while crossing the street or something, you can just, again, take it out and it'll pause your music. If you take one of the buds out, it will automatically pause your music. You put it back in, it'll play your music. Uh, it's a little bit annoying sometimes when that, that happens. If you want to use your touch, touch controls, touch controls are good. Only on the right earbud. Your right earbud is command earbud. You cannot listen to it mono unless it's the right earbud, which kind of sucks as well on a pair of two hundred and twenty dollar earbuds. Um, but they, again, they're good. They're they're good. Uh, but again, if you're crossing the street or you can talk to somebody, just take one out or both out. Um, it'll pause your music for you so you can resume when you put it back in. It automatically will do that because it's got uh, in sensors. 
Um, if you don't wear them super tight, it might sense it might sense that they're not on and will pause your music, which is quite annoying. But as long as you hit the touch control, it'll play, and it shouldn't it shouldn't do that. It didn't do that for me. It only did that once in a couple hours I used it. Um, but it was kind of annoying. Um, the touch controls are pretty cool, though. I don't know why I keep saying, um, please ignore all the ums. Oh my god, it's pissing me off. Um, oh my fucking god. I keep saying, um, uh. Okay, so, um, yeah. They're great. They're good sound quality. They're, they're just, an, okay, let's, let's go into... Are they worth your 220 Canadian dollars? Your hard-earned cash? No. No, they're not. They're not worth 220 dollars. They're... Yes, they're the flagship model. Yes, they're good. But they're not worth that much money. If I'm talking these, I think these are worth way more than I bought them for. 36 dollars, I'm gonna say they're worth... 60. 60 dollars. Um... And that's only from the consumer standpoint. If I was going to sell them, I would maybe sell them for 80 <laughs> uh, Just to make that, you know, money. Uh, I think maybe maybe they're worth more than that, actually. I don't know. But they're they're definitely not top of the line. But they're not, they're not scraping the bottom either. These, on the other hand, are supposed to be, supposed to be the top of the line. $220 Canadian, Canadian uh, earbuds. Uh, $220 is a lot of money. I would buy them at the price $120 plus tax. That's where I think they should sit, is $120. Um, but I feel like that for a lot of things. The Sony headphones, uh, the really good ones with the noise cancelling, I don't know what they're called, XM, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, they're like $499.99. They're like $500. I would not set those more than $250. These, I would sit them exactly at the price I got them for, $69.99. Um, but the thing is, they're better than that. These aren't. $220, I would put, purchase them at $120. I think I would take an entire $100 off of that. I would put tax on that, though. 220. So let's say, let's say 120 plus tax. Let's say 135 bucks. 135 bucks is a good price for them, uh, just because the features aren't necessarily amazing and the sound quality is good, but it doesn't suffice for mo most of the other things missing, like the um, like the latency and or the, the comfort is okay. Um, but they're just they're not. They're not worth that much. I would probably say that for the Gal Galaxy Buds Live and the AirPods for sure. Throw them down at fucking forty dollars. AirPods are not worth that much money. Um, uh, but these, they're good, but they're not worth that much money. If you're gonna go buy them, maybe if you find them at one hundred and seventy, go for them if you want. Them. But I wouldn't pay more than one hundred twenty, and that is what I paid for them. I paid one hundred twenty nine ninety nine because they were on sale out of my pocket. Again, I would appreciate the support if you would like to hit the subscribe button and watch more reviews or more videos. I do all, a bunch of stuff. Anyways, um, so yeah, they're not worth that much money. They're... I would put them in the 120 to 150 dollar range. Maybe 160 if you're okay. Um, but they're... That's where I would put them. I would comfortably sit them in, in between 120 and 160 dollars. I would sit them comfortably in that area. Just because it feels like they're earbuds. You're listening to music through earbuds. You're, the, the latency is there. They're the flagship JBL earbuds, but the latency is there. And maybe you can find no flagship, or no flagship, no latency with uh, maybe a different JBL model. But I'm not too sure. Uh, these have Bluetooth 4.2, no latency. These have Bluetooth 5.0, no latency. $69.99. $36. $220. Bluetooth 5.0. Talking to these. These have no delay and these have no visible play. And that kind of sucks when you're paying $220 for them full price. Um, but they're not bad. Um, yeah, they're just not worth your money. I would comfortably sit them between $120 and $160 Canadian dollars. 
and I wouldn't pay more. Um, that's all I have to say. The, the, the sound quality is good, but it, it, it kind of has to, it, it sacrifices too much for $220, especially with the delay. It kind of bothers me, myself. Um, but again, again, if you're watching just my video, that's what I have to say about them. They're good battery life, good microphone quality. I did call somebody, they loved the sound of it. They said it was super crisp and clear. The bass, tre mids, treble, everything is so fine there. Battery life, again, I already said that's good. Delay, bad. Delay, bad. Delay, bad. Um, the, what else we have here? Oh, I, I didn't like that they felt, felt like you were listening from earbuds. They, they weren't bad, again. The, the sound was uh, nice. The isolation, also good. But it, it sacrifices too much for $220, and if I were talking $220 for earbuds, um, yeah, I can sit them maybe at $140, $150 uh, within that range. Um, so that's that's all I have to say about them. Don't overpay for them unless you really want them. Uh, to test them out for yourself. You can always just uh, return them, I guess, if they allow you to. Um, they're, they're good. They're good. I would rate them out of 10. I would put them for the price. I would put them at a solid maybe I want to say 7.5 out of 10. And before I leave, I'm going to tell you what I would put these at for the price. The fit is definitely good, but it's not that's not the best. But the sound quality is good, again, not the best. But these are $36. Micro USB. I would put these at nine and a half dollars for the price. I think they're worth almost double what I bought them for. And I think these are worth half of what I bought them for. Makes sense? <laughs> um but yeah, it, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. But they're good. They are good. And I do like them. I just won't use them because of the delay. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah, again, for the price, maybe not worth it. But that's your decision to make up in the end. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you please consider hitting the subscribe button. <laughs> Uh, and hitting the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video or when I live stream. I live stream Among Us recently a lot. So if you want to check that out, you can uh, subscribe button again, uh, and uh, get notified. Uh, leave a comment down below of, of what you thought about this uh, review and if you have them and what you thought about what I said. And if you're going to get them, let me know if there's something you want to know before you buy them yourself. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.